What's up gamers, Gamerdad here. This is a guide to help you complete the Horde Rush quest, Collect Score Multipliers. If you haven't subscribed or used my creator code yet, please do so, I greatly appreciate the support. So, score multipliers are things that will appear within a Horde Rush match. You need to collect 10 of them, and this is a group challenge. So if you're playing with a squad, like I am now, with three other people, if they collect a score multiplier, it will also count for you. First off, you need to understand the principles and the basics of this gameplay here. Initially, you've got two minutes to prepare for battle. During this time, you're collecting weapons and you're collecting ammo. You are not collecting score multipliers. You cannot collect a score multiplier unless you are in a certain stage. There's stages that repeat. You go basically prepare for battle, then you have this survive phase, and during the survive phase is when the multipliers appear. So watch in the top right corner. Only in the survive phase. See this? You're gonna see little diamond shards. They just look like a little pink diamond. They will appear on this map, and that's what you're gonna watch for. And soon into the survival part, right there. See these? They will appear. There'll be one, then there'll be a second, and then there'll be a third. Now, if anyone on your team gets them, it's going to count, like I said. But it's always more fun if you get the challenge done yourself, isn't it? So there's all three of them on the screen. You should essentially mark them on your map the way you would in a regular game of Battle Royale, and then you head over to them and you interact with them to collect them. If you see them disappear off of your screen, that's because someone else on your team, if you're playing with a squad, has gotten them. But note, after the survival phase is done, that's it. You can't get those three anymore. So you want to try and get all three. There's three of them appearing in each survival phase. After the first survival, you have this regroup, and then you have a, a period of following the storm. So during the regroup and during the follow the storm, there are no score multipliers. So just remember that. Okay, so for this following the storm, you just want to kind of ride that out and move around. Back into the survive mode, which means da -da -da -da, we've got more score multipliers. And another thing, see at the top of the screen there by my compass, there's two little shards there. It's telling you where they are once they've appeared. But I like to go to the big map and mark them. If you play this in solo, the monsters will come after you. If you play this with lots of squad members, like this, the monsters are often busy taking care of your other squad members who are actively fighting them, because many people don't go around and collect these multipliers. There's multiple reasons to, besides this challenge, by the way. But so at this point, I've got three of ten. And like I say, if you do this, you should be able to get this challenge done within like two Horde Rush matches, because you theoretically should be able to get up to nine in a game of Horde Rush. Three, three, and three during the survival things, the survival stages. So here we go, I'm at five of ten. Now, this is another one. We've got three more on the screen, so I'm back into another survival phase. If one happens like this, and you're not familiar with building, it could be hard to get there, but even if you just build yourself a little ramp here with the materials you've got, this will be my sixth of ten. And, like, when I'm going for the mul multipliers, that's all I do. I just wait, go for multipliers, and I don't even bother killing anyone unless they're about to take me out. So quickly collect the multipliers, just do that only. And it's a good way to get this done. And even though, even in the boss phase, even at the very end boss phase here, they will appear again. So you can see another three, but if you are working on the boss challenge, forget about these things in the boss phase, okay? So at this point I was at eight of 10. I'm gonna move over to nine of 10 in a minute because one of my teammates, or sorry, I just went from seven to eight because one of my teammates got one. And here I'm going to get my final two in this game right here. So this will be nine of 10. And then I will wait for the next one to spawn. And when it does, I'm going to go over there, collect that final multiplier, and then this challenge will be complete. It is as easy as that. So remember, 10 score multipliers. Three of them appear during the times when you are actually surviving. I hope the guide is helpful. Please drop a like, leave me a comment, and if you haven't subscribed or used my creator code yet, please do so. I greatly appreciate the support. Good luck with the challenge. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.